morning, beautiful people. What is good in the neighborhood? If you are new to this channel, welcome to the gang life. Gang, gang, ow. If you're not, welcome back to another video. All right, y'all, so today is a special Vlogmas video. It's almost like a, a TBT, a little, giving you a little throwback moment. So if you have been following me since the BuzzFeed days, you know I've been doing my best to embrace and learn more about my Puerto Rican heritage and culture. So, in honor of the holiday and that spirit, I'm going to be making coquito one for the first time, two on my own. What could go wrong? I know y'all have a debate on whether or not to make it with egg or not. I'm following a recipe without egg, so don't come for me. Come for the cinder. So I'm gonna head to the store to buy all the things that I need and I will catch y'all when I get back. I found all of my evaporated milks, condensed milk, coconut milk. Now everybody says to get a very specific brand of coconut cream. So fingers crossed they have that. I'm gonna go find it. Hopefully Kroger got my back and this isn't gonna be a problem. They almost got me. I was getting ready to show y'all that they were all out of uh, Coco Lopez, but they left it up there for the tall girlies. I will take that, thank you. <laughs> they thought somebody hit it up there because they needed to take it home later tonight. I found it, sorry, sorry. For the stallions, we have it. I've now secured the goods and it's time to go get litty. All right, so I'm back in the store and I have everything that I think I'm going to need. I put my liquor in a measuring cup. One, because it asked for a cup and a half and I only had a cup, but I also didn't want y'all to come for the kind of rum that I've used. I went shopping at eight o'clock this morning and you can't buy liquor that early, so I am putting in what I have and I don't want the girls to come for me. All right, let's get into it. So first things first, in a large pitcher with a lid. I don't have that. So I need to add the rum, the cinnamon sticks, and raisins. I'm not using raisins. Let that sit for about an hour or up to a week. <laughs> I don't have a week. So I do have an hour. So all right, I will put in my rum along with my, how many cinnamon sticks? Boo -boo -boo -boo. Well, do I have time to let this sit for an hour? I have time to let this sit for an hour. I can let this sit for an hour and be back. All right. <laughs> I am now, I'm guessing, marinating my cinnamon sticks in rum. So I'm gonna let this sit for about an hour. It says you can do for an hour up to a week. I didn't have a week to do this. So I'm gonna let it sit for an hour and then we'll come back and do the rest of this. All right, so I let it sit for about an hour and honestly, this whole kitchen now just smells like rum. But I don't know if y'all can see, it's a little more brown now. I guess I just put all of the ingredients in my blender. That was an easy recipe. Was this supposed to be all? Listen, this is the holiday cocktail you make for the girls that don't know how to cook. Ah! All right, I saved what I could of that. <laughs> Oh, now I know better. Ooh, that's good. I don't know if you're supposed to eat condensed milk just as it is, but something about it always just reminds me of like yogurt. What am I trying to think of? It's not like a cream cheese. Pudding, that's what it reminds me of. It reminds me of pudding. Here goes the very much required. Oh boy. Now we add in our rum and cinnamon sticks. And you know what? I know I said I was gonna follow a specific recipe, but the whole point about this is to like make it your own, right? So I'm also gonna add in some vanilla because that's what I've heard people say to do, to add in vanilla. And I like vanilla, so I'm gonna add in some vanilla. But first, I owe this recipe um, first, I owe this recipe half a teaspoon of nutmeg. But that's delicious. Um oh, it does call for vanilla extract. Okay, I'm sorry. That was my bad. That was my bad. That was my bad. Alright, how much vanilla extract? You would also like half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. 
and half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. So you go for it all. I apologize. You know what? That was that was on me. None of that. None of that's on you. Ugh. You know what? I'm just gonna half a teaspoon. I don't know. That's how black people do it. I imagine that's how Puerto Ricans do it too. And I think it's honestly just like a pulse. Okay, it's upset with me. Alrighty. Now that that is done, the last thing it says to do is let it chill for four hours. So I'm going to pour it into these mason jars. Oh yeah. And I guess we'll be back in four hours. Ooh, that's pretty. Alrighty, I let it chill for a few hours. So now is our moment of truth. I'm so nervous. Did I really mess this up? <laughs> Smells good. Let's see if it tastes good. That is rum. That is that is rum. That is white liquor if I've ever tasted it. I think I did it. I think I did it. I definitely wish I would have let it sit a little longer, maybe for a few more hours and then it'd be more thick. But I think the taste is there. This is pretty darn good if I say so myself. Woo! tomorrow <laughs> all right well that is the end of this video i hope you enjoyed it definitely follow this recipe and let me know what you think as always don't forget to like comment and subscribe all the things that youtubers say and i will see you in tomorrow's vlogmas peace